Uh, hey friends, uh, Papa Guy Rob Phoenix here, just popping in to say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, just kind of want to talk a little bit about uh, the 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 repetition of three within powwow. Um, so, as most people understand, all powwow charms are repeated three times, and then at the end of the third repetition, it's followed up with "In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost." Then you kind of wait a space, do the ritual or charm three more times, followed up with the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, wait a space, or as was common back in the day, wait overnight, and then do a third repetition of three, followed up with in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. And that would be the end of the ritual. That would be the end of the healing process. Um Three is an interesting number. It's always been considered sort of a mystical number. And <clears throat> that be, that's because of the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is found within Christian tradition, consists of God the Father, which is God, that overarching God, the kind of quote-unquote unknowable God. God the Son, which is Christ, who is the mediator between us and the unknowable God. It's how we can know God and connect with him. And then there's god the holy ghost which is the spirit of god that comes over the people who accept him and it's that it's believed that the holy spirit is the power of god that manifests itself within our powwow healing um it's kind of a nebulous concept um I, honestly i can't find a proper definition for holy spirit and that's not a failing on my part it's just a failing on I think the Christian church to properly define it for us, for us to understand, but we just know that there is this Holy Trinity. And so that the power of that Trinity finds its way into our powwow work, our ritualistic actions taking place in multiples of three. And of course we find in our uh, rituals and charms themselves this repetition so whereas we might find some charms that say things like uh, uh three holy men went walking so three holy men could be the holy trinity as defined within christian tradition of god the father god the son and god the holy ghost it could also be the three wise men uh you know casper melchior balthazar uh who attended christ and brought him gifts and such you know, to celebrate his birth. It could be the 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 the, the martyrs from the book of David, um uh Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who were in the furnace and they saw Christ and they survived the fire. Um we also see uh references through to uh three holy maidens, three holy virgins, three holy women. Um of course they are in reference to the saints uh Matilda, Elizabeth, um, and Bridget. Uh, <clears throat> and we find the answer to that. Um, most people weren't aware of that, but then you find the answer to that in the apocryphal text of the Gospel of Pilate, um, sometimes called the Gospel of Nicodemus. It's what's called an apocryphal gospel, meaning it was not included in the Bible, but it was one of the original uh, biblical texts. Uh, so anyway, those three are mentioned in there. And the they're referenced, of course, in in power and rituals and charms for centuries. Um, what's interesting too is that, like in power, we use uh, we make the the three crosses over the area of effect, like such like a wound or a burned or whatever a burn or whatever, and that of course represents the Holy Trinity, um, and. We also tend, especially in, not so much in um, in face-to-face -face work, we do three times, wait a space, three times, wait a space, three times, send them on their way. Um, but if we're doing follow-up work for them, then we'll do, you know, we'll meet with them a second time and we'll do three times, wait a space, three times, wait a space, three times, send them back home. And then we'll have them back a third time and do all that again um, for uh, for distance work. We'll kind of do the same thing. Well, with distance work and powwowing, you assume the person is there in front of you. You act as if the person is there in front of you. 
and you do your work just as you would if as if they had come to your house and are seated like in your kitchen or in your you know your library or wherever um but the holy trinity is super important in uh in uh powwowing um one of the things I found interesting about powwowing is John George Holman, who wrote The Long Lost Friend, and who it's considered the very first magical grimoire of the United States. And of course, it's a grimoire of powwow magic. Um, there were several different versions of it. Now, John George Holman was a Catholic, so he was very much in tune with the Holy Trinity. Um, and, and it was interesting because some of his earlier versions of The Long Lost Friend, like The Long Hidden Friend or whatever, had, after you spoke the charm you know the 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 patient would then have to say three hail marys and three our fathers you know three acts of contrition and send them on their way so it was almost like they were doing a little bit of penance after they received their healing um and i always loved that i loved that 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 was there and i found it fascinating that it was removed from later editions of his book and i'm not sure if that was like by him, by his choice, or by uh, a, a publisher's choices, because the Pennsylvania Dutch community who embraced this were less friendly towards Catholicism and more Protestant. So they would not have uh, appreciated all this sort of like the act of contrition and repeating the Hail Mary thrice and the Our Father thrice. That's just not a Protestant thing to do. Um, but it's very much a Catholic thing. So I just always thought that was interesting that it was in like the earliest edition of The Long Lost Friend and then removed from later editions and subsequent reprintings of it. It's nowhere today. You don't find that. But, um, you know, that was very common in Catholic belief, like, okay, you've sinned and here's your penance. Do three Hail Marys, three Our Fathers, three Active Contritions or whatever. Um, I remember that as a kid going to confession at church. Uh, it was always three of this, three of this, three of this. So multiples of three. Fascinating stuff. Um, so anyway, I think it's really important that, uh, you know, I hear people say, oh, it means the holy or the, not the holy, what do they call it? Like the fates or something. Um or the maiden and crone and such with, but there's no evidence of that. That's a modern, uh, that's a modern, like putting something modern onto something that existed throughout history to make it seem old, but it didn't exist in history. Um, but no, this was very much uh, uh, all the Holy Trinities as found within Christian tradition. Um, very interesting stuff. Uh, but Anyway, it's just part of powwow, and I thought I'd talk about it a little bit. Um, so I had to say for tonight, it's been a good day. It's been a good weekend. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, tomorrow's Earth Day, so I hope you enjoy that. My dog is snoring in the background. Listen. I don't know if you could hear her poor thing. She's sleeping on the floor behind me. But all right, you guys, love you. God bless you, and we'll talk soon.